exist. Uh, why? I'm in sound and I saw one comma two comma many. It is directed by Michael De Lorenzo. Who is this guy? Why did he choose to take this job as directing? Anyway, it's also written by John Melendez, a uh, stuttering John. Oh boy. Anyway. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This was requested by a Patreoni. If you'd like to fast track a movie review request, you could do that at patreon.com slash ASU presents. Oh no, this is torture. Anyway, on with the review. If you haven't seen it, spoilers. The movie starts with this very simple premise. And this is the entire premise throughout the rest of the movie. What if Stuttering John is like, I want to have a threesome. And this, this rest of the movie is about him trying to get w with two other women. And it's like- I love that story. Yeah, I know this is 2008, but there's, get a Tinder, dude. I mean, I know it didn't exist back then, but still use it. I don't, okay. I gotta be flat out about this. This is the worst movie I've ever seen. This is worse than Velma. This is worse than Velma, okay? Uh, so this movie, I have so many things, like I have so many issues with it because the, like, you have the beginning promise and this movie is just like so disconnected in like the cuts. Like, yeah, I see motivated cuts, but like motivated and like midway through dialogue, there's another cut to like another scene in a different place to like pick up the second half of that sentence and then it cuts to a different location it does that same thing over and over again this happens in this movie constantly and so basically uh, who is the main character's name who cares it's stuttering john this is basically his fan fiction that he wrote for himself and then directed a movie well he wrote this movie and asked somebody to direct it for him so he could have a fan fiction about it just, I don't know, it seems like it's easier to just write a fan fiction. But anyway, basically, oh, I need to be in a threesome. He's having trouble finding girls who want to be part of a threesome. And in this process, he finds a girlfriend who's totally open and down. He gets a girlfriend with the sole intent of being in a threesome with this chick, which is why be in a relationship if you want to be so uh, dismissive about this woman's feelings. I mean, she seems totally open to the idea. She's like, yeah, I want to do this, all this stuff. And then her rules are, you can never talk about it. You can never be with the same person again. And just all these weird rules. And it's like, that, this is hilarious because I don't think anyone has uh, written this except for John because no one else would come up with these stupid rules. Also, I gotta give you a little of impression of Stuttering John throughout this movie, and it's okay for me to make this impression because I'm autistic, it's all right, it's okay. So Stuttering John during this movie, he's like, oh yeah? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a b -b person. Uh, yeah, I wanna eat your P word. Give me your P word. Bleep those out, Dave. Uh, I wasn't supposed to swear in this review, but this movie got me so angry. And I say supposed to mainly because of my own preference, but uh, well, anyway, this movie just made me go, oh, why am I saying this? Luckily, it's only an hour and a half, but unfortunately, it's an hour and my half of my life gone. It's completely gone. No more life included in, no, no, I can't use that time for anything else now. I could have made some cookies, but no. I had to watch this terrible movie. So you know what happens during this terrible movie? So he hires a prostitute, right? Oh, I'm gonna hire this hooker and I'm gonna hire her so she can like, uh, you know, like we can have a big old threesome thing. And oh, you know what happens? Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I have to go down to the ATM. Going down to the ATM. And then you know what happens? Oh, well, I need to get more money from the ATM. I need to spend more money to have more time with her. Oh, time to go down the ATM again. And then, terrible, three solid minutes, three solid minutes of shit joke. 
three solid mi three minutes and like 10 seconds. I counted, I put a timestamp on it. <sighs> it was the worst thing ever. I had to take my headphones off. And in order to get the timestamp, I had to go through it twice. Mm. Well, anyway, this is the worst thing. You know what happens during those three minutes? Oh, my stomach is feeling rubbly. Oh, look at the corn dogs and oh, the hot dogs that I had earlier today. And it's like, this isn't movie making. Well, you're just gonna say a thing and then you're gonna like cut to like a, like a, like a family guy gag style of like, oh, we're gonna look at another thing that was not where I'm at right now. And then go back to where I'm at right now. And he's like running and then he goes into the stall and then there's just shit noises and I don't like those. Who thought this? No, I don't need to ask who thought this was a good idea. I know who thought it was a good idea. It was John Melendez and he sucks. This is terrible movie. This is awful. This isn't filmmaking. This is not good, not good at all. Who, why? Why did you decide to take this job? Michael De Lorenzo. Oh, does he have like uh, some personal favor? Oh, I want to make a movie, says Stuttering John. I, I want to make, make a movie. That's Stuttering John in 2008. And then someone's like, yeah, I'll help you with that. All of it's bad, none of it's good. The only praise, the only praise I can give this movie is the lighting is half decent, half decent. I can see what's happening. It's unfortunate I can hear what's happening. So props, I guess, for audio. Congrats. Uh, all right, and then this movie ends. Basically, he doesn't get to have the threesome. And then this movie is really hard to keep track of what happens, like little bits in between because of how often it cuts from thing to thing in between his sentences, in the middle of his sentences, with every word. To like, I don't know what to demonstrate. Oh, why can't you just be in a scene? He's also the worst actor that I've ever seen. He's not even acting. I was laughing mainly because of how terrible his acting was. I only laughed when I was like, this is the worst thing ever. I have to laugh because it's the only way I can really make sure that I don't want to undead myself during this in process of this movie. Uh, I don't think it should ever exist. I don't think you should go see it. I don't think you should even acknowledge that it exists. And I didn't know it existed until Carl from uh, Who Are These Podcasts is one, one of my, my favorite, favorite podcasts. podcasts review on it, alerted me to the presence of this movie. And I was like, oh no, how bad does it have to be? And it's bad. It's, it's, it's the worst movie I've seen yet. Uh, I'm sure there's probably worse movies out there. But I don't know how there could be a worse movie out there. there. This isn't a movie. This is somebody's fan fiction, poorly written fan fiction, and then realized. Like, I want to see the storyboards. I want to see the storyboards of like a uh, mid dialogue to like the, the picture scene. Oh, I have to film in like a party now while well, John Melendez says, and then I ate the liquor. <laughs> and then like next cut, and then I slobbered that liquor all over her. Uh, so something like that. This movie was vulgar and it wasn't funny vulgar. It was just vulgar vulgar. It was gross, disgusting, not a fun movie time at all. Avoid this movie at all costs. There is no character progression. There's no character development. Well, actually, I, I lie. There is some character development in the little in the little uh, friend, I guess, girlfriend that John Melendez has during the movie. After he comes back and the time with the hooker is up, she's like, you know, I'm gonna go with her. And it's like, she's a walking, working woman. She has other clients to attend to. You can't just like be there. You're not, you're also not a prostitute, okay? You, mm, you can't just like tag along with her while she's out working, I don't know. I'm, I've never been on the street. I don't know how street prostitution works, but I just think I know more about street prostitution than John Melendez does. Jeez. <sighs> because in this movie, they go out and like they are like dating now. And it's like, you know, I think the prostitute probably has like other people to have sex with for money instead of, I don't know, having a friend that is a girl that gives you no money 
I don't know, if I was the prostitute, I wouldn't be hanging out with John Melendez's girlfriend at all after this hour is done. I gotta give this movie a solid... I don't know what to give this movie. It's so bad. But yet I have to leave some room. It's a one, it's a one, it's a solid one. It's a one of a movie. I only give it a one because it looks okay halfway decent. And when I say it looks decent, I mean I could literally see it. Like it's not like dark, like an HBO property. It's not like dark like the end of Game of Thrones. Like I, I can see what's happening. Oh geez, it's a solid one for everything else to being terrible about it though. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that. You can fast track a movie review request to patreon.com slash ASU presents for $20 a month for one movie review per one month. $3 a month of how to draw Pokemon tutorials, all at patreon.com slash ASU presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness, you can go to this link tree to find ways you can help support the daily grindiness. Go to this link tree. And until next time, I'm in South Saw. I'll see you later, my South Cruise and Bacon Bits. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hope no one thinks I'm as bad as Stuttering John because Stuttering John is terrible. This is the worst movie I've ever seen. If this is a product of Stuttering, stuttering John, I don't want this to want me to be equivalent to this because this is trash. I want to be better than Stuttering John. I, I strive to be better than Stuttering John even though I never knew who he was before a couple of years ago. I strive to be better than him. He's my entire life goal is not to be him. Do not be like Stuttering John. This is a terrible movie. Never watch this movie. And now the show is over now.